episode from the last video. We're uh, gonna be doing some pumping today at Mars back here. Uh, it's probably gonna get really, really freaking loud, so I'm gonna use my headset. Hopefully, y'all can hear me okay. So, let's start off today uh, with getting everything set up. So, we'll get on to that. All right, so Daniel is gonna be doing all the pumping and stuff today, and I'm gonna be going through. So, starting off, you're gonna get all your tools gathered, and you're gonna come back to the back of the trailer. Cut your seals. All right, so once you get all your tools and cut your seals after they allow you to, you open up the cabinet, depending on what kind of trailer you have. Some trailers have cabinets, some trailers don't. Unfortunately, this, uh, this trailer has a cabinet. So, at this point, we're gonna finish cutting all our seals shipper and figure out which hose we're going to need, which is the fun part. Probably most likely going to need that female to female hose, if there is one on the trailer, or the female to male hose, if there is one on the trailer. <laughs> it's all going to depend on which one, uh, which one you're using. So today though, if we're going into this, it's a two inch hose connection. All our hoses are three inch hoses. We gotta use adapters. Guess what, we have adapters, woo! -hoo! Get the U-hose set up. Set to the side. Fun part, the U-hoses are always fun, especially the big rubber U-hoses, because they suck. They terribly, terribly suck. They're always in the way. So. Yeah, this is going to be a fun video today. I'm going to use the pipe wrench. It's too tight, so you move it over.
this is always a guessing game too. So you look at the hose, you can see, look at the end of the hose here. The cap goes in, so that means this is a female hose. Guessing game is over, <laughs> and now you gotta put it back. Yeah, I guess what? They weigh about 10 15 pounds when they're empty, 40 to 50 when they're loaded. Lots of fun to do with those. Some of them don't, so 
now it's time to uh, run the PTO hydraulic pump. I have a Peter built, so my setup's gonna be a little bit different than some people's. You gotta set the truck, turn it on. Once the truck is running, there's a special little button over here called PTO. You'll flip that switch. And then you'll set your cruise control and turn it up to about 950 RPM to idle the truck. And then after that, you'll jump out and double check your hoses to make sure that they're not leaking. All right, depending on how you want to do this, a lot of drivers do it different ways. But once you got all your hoses hooked up and everything, it's, and you're done with the front of the truck, you're no longer in the front or the middle, you can come to the back, put your straps or your cotter pins in, sure that these hoses will not disconnect at any given time because if they do it will cause a mess and that mess will be no bueno i use cotter pins some guys use straps these are cotter pins are pretty good because they're simple you just pop them in they hold it down straps kind of do the same thing sometimes you got to use two or three straps per hose though start running out of straps once you're using adapters and stuff so it's no good and after this you'll uh, run your pump make sure that your pump runs when you check to make sure there's no leaks and then once you find that your pump runs you're pretty much good to go all right so then you get in here and you double check to make sure that your pump actually you might be able to see the spin. Of, uh, so what you usually want is you want the product to flow on the outside of the pump. So that means that if we're coming up from the bottom, it needs to go out and around and up. Which means that these propellers inside this pump need to spin towards the inside. That'll determine which way you pull your handle. Then after that, pull your levers on both sides. Make sure you got no leaks on your side as it comes down through the hose. And then, usually the company will uh, open their valve, but they've got us doing it here. So you open their side. And at this point, it's time to rock and roll. Usually you want to start off kind of slow, so you can kind of feel the product go through the hose. And then once you can kind of feel it going, make sure you got no leaks. After that, once you got no leaks, you pretty much run it full blast and get going. This usually takes about anywhere, depending on your pump and your hose and your equipment, uh, anywhere between an hour to three hours. So, we'll be back after we're done. All right, YouTube, back after a grueling hour and a half of unloading in the Kansas City heat. Now we're gonna finish it up. So, first we gotta turn our pump down slowly to a low speed without turning it off. That way we're still kind of pushing some stuff in, trying to push as much as we can. Then, of course, like I said, we've got their side, close it real quick, close our side real quick, turn the pump off, all at the same time. Now, then we've got a, Everything closed off, so we're not making a mess or anything. We got their stuff closed. Now we gotta turn the pump in reverse and open our, our valve back up a little bit. So we can start pulling all the product out of our hose. So we're gonna have the pump on slightly on a low speed. And we're gonna disconnect. Make sure 
doesn't leak. I guess. So at this point, we take our cotter pins and stuff out. Take all our safety mechanisms off, straps, whatever we got. Now we gotta get all this junk out of this hose. So this hose is heavy, probably like a good 40, 50 pounds. So now we gotta turn the pump on pretty full blast. So it starts sucking all the air and everything out of the hose. Gotta do like a little circle, kinda keep the uh, hose down. Definitely wanna keep this end up though, just in case it starts to leak. But as you can hear, yummy yummy! Sucking everything out. And then you can go ahead and cap your hose. If you cap your hose, that'll help suck some of the stuff out and you won't make as much of a mess. So this will help pull a lot of the product out. There we go. So now once you got it capped, you can definitely just lay it on the ground and try to get as much out of it as you can. Because like I said, these hoses are heavy as hell with a lot of this product in it. And the way our, our pumps are set up, you really, really got to uh, suck as much stuff out of these hoses as possible. So once you feel like you got everything out of the hoses, you can turn your pump off. Close your valve. Once your pump's turned off, next thing to do is to go turn off the truck, which is pretty simple. You just reverse what you did beforehand, because you want to save your fuel. Because you've been idling this whole damn time. So it's pretty much you go in, hit your PTO button, turn it off. And then you can turn the truck off. You save all that nice, yummy diesel fuel at 289 a gallon, average across the United States under Prime's discounts. Yay! And of course, walking back, you got your pump off, you got your valve closed, you got your truck off. Now you can start to disconnect your hose and put it up. close by 
try to make it easier. Sometimes you gotta move them because they'll jiggle inside the cabinet. A little bit of an overflow there. Not too bad. And of course that's what you don't want to do. Like I said, it's a good thing that I got all this uh, plastic bag and stuff down. So once you have all this down, gather all your tools up, go close your dome, disconnect your hydraulic hoses, and uh, that's pretty much it.